Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. So for today's video, I went ahead and went into my vault. I was checking out some of the guns. I wanted to try to test out some of the new fusion rifles that I had picked up. And really just kind of try to use the fusion rifle a little bit, try to get used to them. But once I checked in my vault, I actually found the Queen Breaker's bow, which I had not used since the Rise of Iron actually came out. So instead, we're rocking the Queen Breaker's bow today. I'm going to go back into this weapon. I, I have not touched this thing since Rise of Iron, and I really wanted to try it out in a couple of games. Now, this gun came out back in year one with the House of Wolves update when Prison of Elders was first introduced, and I had used it back then. I'd gotten it pretty soon after the Prison of Elders came out, and I'd used Queen Breaker's Bow for a while, and I really loved it. I thought it was amazing. I never really sniped anymore, and then I just used Queen Breaker's Bow for a few months there for a while, and I actually have a pretty crazy montage back then. If you guys want to check that out, I'll leave an annotation to that or a link in the description if you guys want to go back and check out that year one montage. But other than that, guys, we are actually going to go back into the Queen Breaker's Bow for year three this time. Now I've been rocking it for a few days and I've tr been trying to get used to it again like just and then try to use it a little bit more like a fusion rifle as well. I'm not really snipe with it as much as I used to or use it as a primary. Now it still holds a crazy amount of shots in the clip. I mean back in year one you could have like 60 or 70 shots with the red armor on in your gun at once. It was pretty ridiculous. You just had insane ammo. It's basically like running two primaries. Now I don't think you can hold that much ammo anymore. I think it's cut back to about 38 shots or something like that. But either way, the ammo capacity of this thing is still pretty amazing, and you basically can just run it as a primary. It's pretty much good at any range, so long as you can hit a headshot or even just hit a body shot and switch to your other primary, it's actually still pretty damn good. Now the charge up time is pretty decent if you can just aim down sight. I never like to rock that long range scope. I always rock the close range one with the three dots. It's just for me somehow it's easier to hit the headshots. Now for some reason I only really do like to walk, rock this gun when I'm on my Hunter, when I'm on my Titan or my Warlock it just doesn't seem as, as good or as stable as it is on my Hunter. Something about the way you can jump around and move with the Hunter class and the way it charges up the fusion rifle, it just makes it a little easier for me. Shade stepping and using a fusion rifle always throws people off guard which makes it really pretty easy to kill people. Now because of the close range abilities of the Queen Breaker's bow though, it does kind of act like a normal fusion rifle too. So if you can get a headshot at someone close range, you can definitely take them out pretty easily. And it actually does do a pretty decent amount of damage as a body shot, so you really can switch over to your primary and like one shot at most of the time, depending on the character you're using. But or definitely one burst. If you're using Grasp of Malak or Huxa or something like that. Now it doesn't hold up in competitive as well as it does in public matches. I was using it Charles Vosiris too a little bit and just some elimination as well. Now in elimination on certain maps it actually did do pretty decent. I guess it's kinda just depends on the map. I really do like to use the fusion rifle or just really Queen Breaker's bow in general when it's like some sort of long hallways, so like Widow's Court or just like basically sort of like sniper maps. I do use it more as a sniper than a fusion rifle. Now, that don't get me wrong, you can use it as a fusion rifle. In fact, hip firing with this thing is actually extremely easy once you're at the close enough range, so you can easily body shot somebody with it uh, without even aiming. You can usually headshot them too if they're close enough. It's actually pretty good as a hip fire, you don't really need to aim. But definitely, for me, I do like to try to use it at more of a long range. For the most part, I kind of just stay back mid to long range. I don't really go to close range too much because I don't want to get meleeed. And it's usually just not as good. The only time I go to close range, I just usually try to be really aggressive with it. You can definitely be extremely aggressive with Queen Breaker's Bow. So if, yeah, if you use it like that, you know, rush up on people pretty hard or just like had uh, your Titan maybe. For you guys, it might be a little easier on a Titan if you would just be able to Titan skate around really fast. You probably could do pretty good with the Queen Breaker's Bow. Now, for me, on a, we're going to go into Anomaly now. This is one of my favorite maps with the Queen Breaker's Bow. This kind of just highlights what I mean by like the mid to close range shots. Like, it can still hold up, but for some reason, at the same time, it can still hold up in long range. Like, it's pretty much just good at every range. But you definitely need to get used to the charge up time. But you need to pre aim and remember to just always be pre charging your gun if you think someone's going to come around a corner. Or before you head around a corner, even if you think someone's going to be where you're going, you definitely want to try to charge up before you're actually over aimed out sights. That way it almost does act more like a sniper and your shot's ready just as soon as their sniper shot would be. So you definitely do need to take that into account. Like snipers are definitely going to be a little easier because the fact that you don't have to charge up, that's just like an added factor into everything that you have to do. But if you can get used to that charge up time, like for me, I don't really think about it anymore. I'm just kind of used to it because I know what I'm like, how I'm using the gun. And it just, yeah, it's pretty easy. Getting those headshots is great. And especially when people are running, it's still easy to really get a headshot. In fact, it's a lot easier to get a headshot on someone that's moving with this gun than it is with a sniper. Because you have that crazy large hitbox, those three dots, makes it pretty easy to get a headshot. So you definitely do need to be super aggressive if you're at close range though with Quinnberger's bow. Anytime that you try to just like get behind cover or just get like a really quick shot out on someone, it doesn't work. If they're rocking a shotgun or if they have like a last word or just like any sort of close range weapon, they can rush up on you 
and just completely destroy you before you even really charge up your gun. So if you're keeping it close range, you definitely do want to try to be aggressive, get the first shot out on someone, because once they shoot you, it's just not as easy as it is with the sniper to go ahead and shoot back or even get a headshot because the flinch on this thing isn't exactly easy to control, after the nerf at least. Anytime that you're close range, you do try to want to kind of be aggressive. Always try to get that first shot out on people. So definitely try out the Queen Burger's book for yourselves, guys. Close Rise of Iron, it's still pretty good and holds up pretty well. Plus, it's actually a whole lot of fun to use, so if you're ever just kind of like bored with all the guns you have or don't really know what to use because it's just you've used pretty much everything, just t try out the Queen Burger's bow. Not a lot of people ever really use it in the Crucible, but for me, I like it a lot. It actually does get me a pretty decent amount of kills, and I feel like it does hold up, and it's just a whole lot of fun to use, so I definitely just take it out sometimes to have a good time. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and got some sort of tips and like sort of like find yourself a little bit better off with your Queen Burger's bow if you ever do go out and use it. But other than that, guys, if you did enjoy, drop a like, and if you're new to the channel and want to see some more, be sure to go click that subscribe button as well. And I will catch you guys tomorrow in another Destiny video. Peace.